Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect, where in the last episode we've continued our walk around the Citadel and right now we've arrived at Shairas, who's an Asari consort who does many things apparently. So let's go and uh, talk to her. I'll try to ignore the clients because I want to make up my own mind before I talk to other people about her. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. Okay, I've also heard some things about you. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Um, I'm all ears. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. I, s I see that. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Talking about invasion of, uh, of private sphere. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. How quaint! Uh. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect their first time. Don't get me wrong. I've only heard good things about the Consort. It's just... The unknown forces us out of our comfort zone. It forces us to be vulnerable. Exactly. That's just what I was thinking. Good. Then we are ready to begin. Um, I think um, I don't want to interrupt anyone here. They seem to be busy. Let's let's call it that. Uh, okay. So, just in order to uh, finalize our our trip, let me actually just walk over here. I don't really have to do it, but I just want to show you that if I walk over here, then I'll. Then I'll be back at the lower level here. Whoops, no. Go away. Thank you. And I'm back here at the entrance to the um, to the embassies. So, let's actually go to the other level. Yes, this was only the first of uh, the, the Presidium levels that, that we can ex explore. The other one is the wards. We've already been to multiple places there and talked to people, so let's just start at the med clinic, for instance, and then make our way through the wards as well. Just to see if anything's up there. Well, you know, th there could be. Let's, uh, let's see if uh, something's going on here. Hello? I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you coming. Mm, is something going on? Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I can also help you to take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. 
Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. All right. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Oh joy, more problems to solve. Didn't see that coming. <clears throat> Did you know? All right. Let's also check out the lower level here. If there's something going on here. That's a terminal and a keeper and an officer. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz, saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Um, I don't think so. I think I have enough information about these topics for now. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah, thanks. Let's leave before he starts to drool or something. Okay, there's nothing there. There's also nothing going on here. There's a there's a bar up there, I think. Let's actually go there. Let's have a drink. Or Whatever Rex and Liara uh, like to do for fun, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. So there's also a rapid transit terminal that we could use, but I'm not going to use it now. Just activating it in case that we need to act actively activate it in order to use it in the future. Huh? You should be careful who you say that around. What? Everyone knows Fist is one of the local criminals. Maybe. But I would go shouting it from the mountaintops. Yeah, unless you want to end up on his hit list. Yes, I heard he actually buried some corpses under the stage at Cora's Den. I wouldn't put it past him. Yes, and it might explain the stench in that place. Yeah. <laughs> Places like this always want to hire Krogan bouncers. It's like we're a status symbol for them. Why is the music in these places always so loud? It almost seems as if the people here want an excuse not to talk to each other. Yeah, maybe, Liara, maybe people don't actually go into the bar to talk to each other. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. I'll see if I can talk some sense into her next time I see her. Be careful. You know how stubborn your sister can be. The more you push and prod, the more she'll run away. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, Doran. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Let me talk to her. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm waiting for someone else. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't want to intrude here. You can also play Quasar, which is a s interesting mini game. Let's let, let's call it that. Well, I can scan a keeper here, and he's a suspicious gambling machine. I believe this machine has been tampered with. 
and someone is funneling credits to a private account. I will attempt to trace the signal. Okay. Let's try. Let's try and trace the signal. Maybe we can find out more about this uh, suspicious gambling machine. Okay. So. How could anyone live here? There are just so many people. I don't know. Not sure if I would actually want to live at the Citadel. Because I sort of agree with Liara in the regard that's probably a little bit too crowded for my taste. Hmm. I don't know, but also sort of sort of cool, fu futuristic and stuff, so that's 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 something. I think I already used that though. Still the guy with the recipe here? Okay. Uh, let me scan that keeper. And. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Okay. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Actually, I was born and lived on a spaceship. What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Uh what do you what do you talk about Novaria and Pharos? What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. Maybe I could look into that when I'm there, I'm not sure. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. I'm not so sure, actually. Uh, on the two, I think. Yes, I think. Well, this, this is terrible. Let me just buy the licenses and the medical upgra upgrade. If that was a, if that was a good Omni tool, I would actually buy one for Liara because I haven't really got a spare Omni tool for some reason. Hmm. Okay, I can't can't talk to that guy. Do, do, do. Is that really? <gasps> wow! It's you. Uh, hello. Who are you? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I'd say it was more like a dozen, but I actually just tried to help. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Sure. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Huh. I'm pretty sure we're not going to see that guy again, right? What interesting. Why is it so empty here? Would expect there to be more people around here. Hmm. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Sure. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Is any of them really good? No. Oops, no. God. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? 
Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. All right, a grenade upgrade, yay! And the license, and another license, and you don't have an Omni tool either. Damn it! Nobody, Liara, nobody wants to wants to sell an Omni tool for some reason. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Well, maybe you should reconsider. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. <laughs> Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Okay. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Interesting. Maybe we need to find out more about this Baines person, whoever that is. But first, let's go to Chorus Den because uh, General Uraka and uh, the sister is here, whose name I forgot. What's strange? We Asari are more accepting of our sexuality than most other species. Some club owners like to exploit this by hiring us as dancers. Hmm. Let's try to find the general first. Where would he be? Hello, your general? Commander! <laughs> what do you want? Something going on? What's bothering you, general? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian general. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. Now, unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut, go away. Well, maybe I can, actually. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It's better than sitting on your ass all day. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. And why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Yeah, I think I've already heard that. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. One day, maybe. Let's not tempt fate right now. All right, uh... Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. 
Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. <laughs> yeah, Rex. Let's just go then. Excuse me. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Um, what? Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we better go find out. Ooh, ominous music. <laughs> what, did I deserve th what did I deserve that for? Huh. Oh well. Okay. Since uh, I see that the time is already up, uh, let's actually continue this... Uh, this fun quests in uh, the next episode where we're gonna continue to walk around the wards and probably to other places too because we have to go all around 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 and then some more to in, in order to uh, fulfill all these quests so it's gonna be fun and have a good one bye <laughs>